decode in talent, you say? I've seen that in Informatica and Oracle in talent that's not available. Well, this is true, my friend. Uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in talent, you don't have this function out of the box, but you can still do it. And I will show you how even in uh, several ways. So let's get started. The decode function, when you invoke that in Oracle or in other places, is usually like this. You write decode and then the text you want to decode. Then you have these search replace pairs, as many as you want. And in the last place, you have this optional default value. So let's make it more specific. If I have this invocation, as you can see here on the left hand side for input, uh, where I map uh, city names to countries and I input in New York as the main input and decode it, I would get USA. If I would input uh, instead of New York in the first string here, uh, for example, Berlin, I would get unknown respectively. So how is the solution in talent? Well, uh, I created a routine or better said a function in a routine, which is a, a method in a Java class that you can then use like you see on the right hand side, which is writing routine.decode and then also the parameters. We'll just split the parameters into the input to decode and then the arguments, which is in the list of uh, decoding pairs plus the optional default value. And to see this live and in action, we go for a demo time in a talent. So I head over to talent. And first of all, before we go into this job, let me show you here in the repository on the left hand side, we've got global routines. There are this folder with system routines and I created my own one, right clicking on the global routines and selecting create routine. And inside and in this one here at the very bottom, uh, I've got my uh, decoder function, as you can see, if it's got uh, this and Java doc commune. So to make it easier for developers deciding if or not to use that, and then the uh, code itself, which does the decoding. So this is what I had to create. It uh, does not take too much time if you're a bit into Java. And then here we are using this. I'm inputting city values, city names from large cities uh, all over the world. And then here I'm doing the decode, as you can see. And I output this into a new column called country. And then the city column with the original value plus the decoded country are shown in table mode on the console. Right. And here only for demo purposes, I have this fixed flow input and this logo output because in this way I can easily show it to you without external data source and a target. But obviously this could be any data source or target that is supported by talent, such as databases, uh, files, uh, NoSQL and databases, cloud systems, and other more such as web services. Back to the example, if I run that now, we will see the corresponding results. And here we have the city and the decoded country value for this. And we can also see that there are some values unknown because my reference is not yet complete. So I would have to maybe expand this list or do something else that I will show you in a few minutes. And now you might wonder, okay, I do not usually use a T Java row component. This is also fine. Let me copy and paste this job. We can also do that in a T map, and I will show you here. So we will drop this one and add a T map instead, like this. Connect in this input here again. Create a new output. Um, let's call that decoded. And to get the target components schema, and now edit the mapping here. First of all, hit auto map. So city from the input is connected to this decoded output, the city column. And here we now need the same piece of code just for readability purposes. And in order not to have you wait while I type this, I typed it out in this way in my text editor. And we can now easily use this here as well, which is the same one as I used in teach our role. Uh, only one small thing we have to change here. The input name is not input role. 
as you can see here on the left hand side in the background it's row three so i delete this part and add a three here and now we are ready to go we can hit okay here and here and we can deactivate in this sub job remember this output from the last run now we run it again and we have the same output here this is nice this is all right this is when we use a custom routine to do decoding in talent pretty much the same way as we would in informatica or in oracle but there are other options in talent okay we can use t replace components uh, let me copy and paste in this job again this uh, component i copy and paste and then i put the replace component here and here i can do pretty much the thing and that i was using in the decode function but in a slightly more readable way okay so i would say okay here i look for what was in my list in new york and i output usa instead where i look for uh, delhi and i output india instead one advantage here is you can say it's not necessarily the whole world and it does not have to be case sensitive. So let me copy and paste this logo component. And I don't want to get the target components schema. Why? In this case, because unfortunately also one slight disadvantage here is that I can also preserve the input schema. So I basically can only do this, take the input schema to the output. But if we run it, we still see uh, the replace being done here, the decode for those two values right which were delhi and uh, new york here for the other ones we still have the city all right and then this is good already you can instead of this t replace also use replace list which is pretty much the same but it uses an extra input uh, for the reference and also does the replacement let's say in place okay so you basically lose your a city value you could duplicate it before so it's not actually lost okay but uh, it's still not what i really really want so let me just deactivate on this mm, i want to continue with this city's input so i will take this one and i will show you one even easier option uh, that does not require a, any uh, custom code at all and would also uh, enable us to have like we had in the beginning uh, the city column plus and the country column in the output i want to copy and paste in this one here again because i'm going to use this as a reference together with tmap a component and also again a logo output in this component first of all i don't want to have this anymore i want to have the possibly complete reference so I edit the schema, I add a new column, which is called country so of type string. And I also prepared that here already, my mapping, and I can easily paste it here when I specify use inline content. And this is the field separator and this is the row separator. So then talent will go ahead and make a lookup here. And we can easily define this lookup, uh, like connecting those two components here. First of all, the cities i actually wanted to rename this and not add a node component here and then countries here i create a new output decoder two. now i define my mapping i want this city column in the output as i said and the country column in the output it's respectively matching those if i now say okay look up this city here in, in this city and then when you go to tmap settings for this country's input that is join model is left out to join why because in this way if we have a city which is not here in our reference we still output null a value at least uh, for the country and so we also get hold of our unknown values that i mentioned before we are fine to go we propagate in the changes and this is basically the decode in talent uh, where we have everything i wanted in the first place but i don't have to maintain the list inside uh, this uh, function call okay which is pretty nice here in this example let me also switch that one to table mode and you can see uh, the corresponding translation here it should now uh, translate all our input values because that's all i have in my reference 
obviously I could get other input values here, uh, some other uh, cities, and still see that I would get null, like I said before, uh, for the country output. So this is one form to decode in talent using the tmap and doing a lookup. The other one is tReplace list, which is pretty close to the tmap, but with slight disadvantages and advantages, as well as the tReplace. Or we can use custom code in a tJava row component or in a, a tmap component. So you can see there are quite a few alternatives. The different subjobs are all different solutions for the same uh, issue that we have. What is your uh, option? What is your preferred solution? Why? Please comment below. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and you will be updated with regularly new content. If you want to learn more, please go to this URL and you will find my advanced talent course. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next video.